What's up guys, today we're watching season 4, episode 11 of Breaking Bad. So, last episode, you know, we had Walt recovering from his fight with Jesse. You know, Walter Jr. got a new car, went over there for his birthday, and ended up just helping Walt out since he seemed in a tough position. And we also saw, like, Gus, Mike, and them bring Jesse all the way, I think it was to Mexico, to help them learn how to make the meth themselves. But that ended up turning into something else because Gus ended up killing the whole fucking cartel people by also poisoning himself. And then, what's it called? At the end of the episode, fucking Mike got shot and Jesse's the one driving. I don't know if Mike's gonna die. I don't know if Gus is gonna die, but I wanna find out. So I guess let's just get into the episode. See? Listo. Oh, uh, they're getting prepared for Gus. I did not expect them to be in a warehouse like that. Like, that was just a tent. Oh, he's full on passed out now. Okay. I mean, as expected, he couldn't throw up like the whole fucking thing, but I guess like enough to where he's still alive. Was that just in his mouth or did he go or was that in like his gums? You gotta survive, Mike. You survived everything it's else. Hell. This man pays my salary. Damn, it's like Loki, I get it, but also it's Mike. Mike is basically like dude's right hand man, so he needs to be saved too. Are they back yet? Have you heard from anyone? He ain't gonna say the nothing. Pinkman is gone. I'm done. Do you understand? I quit. It's like even after that whole fight, he's still kind of like loyal towards Jesse in a way. I don't know. He keeps talking about driving out to the factory farm, and I have, I have stalled him as long as I possibly can. But it's really at the point now where he's. Is that? Is this gonna be the episode where he does it? Oh God. Can you just run it up the chain of command then? Man literally never says a fucking word. Like, come on. Our next three moves is sitting here and waiting. This here's the job, buddy. You know, supermodels and speedboats, you know? I'm glad Hank's back in the episode. He wasn't in last episode. Ian Roman's about some big play down south. Lots of bodies, apparently. You know, even by cartel standards. Oh, yeah, they already heard about the thing that happened with Gus and them. Not specifically Gus, but like the people he killed. He got on a ride that was rough to get off of. I'm just saying I'm here, you know. I'm gonna talk about it. He's so nice. I love Hank. But Walt's not gonna talk I about don't it. I don't wanna talk about it to you or to anyone else. I'm done explaining myself. He's alive. That's all that matters. Just, you smoke, you drink. You uh, puff, puff, puff. But no disease, no condition. He knows everything about you, health wise. Oh, negative. That's what he needs. He. He's already up and moving? This injury? No, no travel. At least a week. 
I'll send for him. Poor Mike. Kinda like the plane. So you make it? Six miles is pretty far. I'll make it. Wait, so y'all are walking? No car? Well, they had to ditch the other car. It has, like, blood and shit. And ma'am, can you get out of my way? Let Mr. White go. Pay him off or fire him. Don't kill him. It's wild how they're still so loyal to each other after that whole fight. Hey, sorry to call you at home, but I think maybe you're not getting my messages. That or you just don't feel like talking. Was that Ted? That's probably not what you wanted to hear, but hopefully you'll understand. And if you wanted to talk some more about it, that's fine. So call me. I'm around. He sucks. I can't do it. Yes, you fucking can. You just choose not to. What are you doing, ma'am? Come here. Or not. <laughs> thought long and hard about this and uh, here's what I want to do <clears throat> I have a feeling it's not gonna be good because at the end of the day paying my debt with illicit gambling winnings uh, I don't know feels wrong so when did wrong suddenly become a problem for you. Now hold on, that was a one-time measure. I took in an honest attempt to... I don't like this man. Okay, but I still owe the bank, Skyler. I'm still gonna go bankrupt. I lose my business, and my home. I still have to pull my girls out of school. Is she gonna like offer him more money or something? I swear to fucking God if she does that. As much as I appreciate the gesture, the money you gave me doesn't really change anything. Because it's not enough? I swear to God, Ty Skyler. I was about to call you Tyler. Saul Goodman, please. Tell him it's important. I thought that man died low key. I haven't seen him in a bit or what it feels like a bit. Don Elalio, Don Paco, Cesar, Reynaldo, Fortuno, Cisco, and Luis. He's terrified. Do you remember him? That young man shot Joaquin to death. <laughs> it's weird that Jesse's just standing there. He doesn't know what to do. Now, the Salamanca name dies with you. How are you going to kill him? Or is he just gonna let him die out, you know? I don't know why it looked like he was about to fucking smash that chair over his head or something. Hey, listen, Walt, really appreciate you doing this again, you know? I know you guys must have your hands filled with the car wash. How many times are y'all gonna go to that place? Like, I'm sorry, Hank, you already went once. Well, are they going to the same place? I just, like, automatically assume they were. Right. Yeah, there's this, uh, industrial laundry I want to check out. It's not far. Just, yeah, turn right here. Oh wait, that's exactly where 
Walt works, right? Because he works under the laundry mat, okay. Systems. Yeah. A chemist who was in possession of hand-drawn plans for a meth super lab and was visited by none other than Gus Fring. He is so smart, bro. Oh my god. He's connecting like all the dots. Just doesn't exactly know it. intentionally did that just so he didn't have to bring dude there so, so how you feeling like oh well you know kind of feels like uh, one of those combs they put on dogs so they don't lick their own balls <laughs> that guy he just came out of nowhere yeah actually he didn't i saw him coming a mile away Hey, just mark it down as a brain fart. He pointed that out in front of everyone. That is... Mm. Your Hardy Boys routine is over. No more asking him to drive you on stakeouts. It's too dangerous. You hear me? That was his plan, so he didn't have to do that anymore. Well, so he doesn't exactly find out, but you know. wash business it's Ted huh Fair enough he doesn't own a gun at least not one that he bought legally nor does his home security system have any kind of panic button arrangements so I totally forgot she called Saul earlier said I don't want anyone hurt all I want is for him to write a check yep it's gonna be fine I've got my a team on it the fact that she has to do that just to make him write a check, like, come on. Can I help you? Yeah. Thanks. What were you just kidding? This way. So, the amount's gonna be for $617,226. Oh, I don't have anywhere near that kind of money. You liar! You have to do is worry about that. Oh my god, this is a, a giant misunderstanding. Skylar is a dear friend of mine. All right, just let me call her. We'll, uh. She's the one who sent them, bro. Hugh, you happy? <laughs> Three of us can hang out, play cards, or watch TV or whatever for the next couple of days until the check clears. Painless, right? They really staying with him for that long? So. <laughs> that shouldn't have been that funny. He landed in a bad position, though. We have to be dirty. Nope. Literally has to sneak into his own job. <laughs> I think we're gonna shut down the whole operation. Just for you. Who cooked? Who was here? Was it him? Or was it Jesse? I don't know. Jesse's been doing other shit, so I don't know. Good luck, kid. Mom was in the house. Jesse. What do you want? He had to see him. Um... Hey. Just give me one minute. Let me just explain. <sighs> okay. Let me. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Don't start another fight, bro. To replace me. He will kill me. You brought your brother-in-law to our lab. What the hell is wrong with? Mm. You 
He said, I hope you end up buried in a barrel in the Mexican desert. <laughs> He isn't wrong, so it's like, how do you expect him to react? Oh no. Man came out of nowhere, though. Um. This can... Walt's not dying. No. You can't. He's the main character. You're telling me man's gonna die in this episode. You are done. Fired. N not dead though. Stay away from Pinkman. Do not go near him. Ever. But you're letting him live, so that's one thing. Or else you'll do. What? Don't mess with him. Won't let you do it. For now. But he'll come around. Oh, man. So, okay. He is a problem you promised to resolve. You have failed. Now it's left to me to deal with him. No, 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 no. You cannot kill Hank. Wife, I will kill your son. I will kill you. Even the baby? What the fuck? Uh. So it's like, what's gonna happen now with Walt? I mean, he still has the car washed, but you know. Checks in the mail, at least. Oh, hello, Mrs. White. The good news is the IRS has been paid off. The bad news is... Ugh. Jesus! Is he actually dead or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow oh. down! What the? Oh. How did you hear? What? Hear, hear what? Whole new life. Yeah. And make sure that I'm never found. Yeah. yeah I need him. So, Gus is gonna murder my whole family. So he's gonna take him up on that offer. He kind of needs it. So. 25 grand, but you got four people to vanish. It's gonna be at least half a million, and he accepts cash only. I've got the money. Now, come on. Please. Here. Okay. How, wait, how much does he have left over? Because Skylar also gave Ted money. I'm practically in the DEA family. I go to their Christmas parties, for Christ's sake. They know me. They know my voice. They'll know me. Please, you gotta do it for me. I'm begging you. Please. You gotta save Hank, bro. I need to collect my wife and kids. Okay, just give me an hour, and then you make the phone call. Don't forget, please. Yeah. This is fucking wild. I just wonder if he's going to notice the missing money. That's what I'm saying! Cause of fucking Skylar, right? The money, Skylar, where is the rest? Skylar, where is the money? Oh my god, she is... I gave it to Ted. What? I hate her. That's creepy as fuck. 
Okay. The DEA called, they got some tip from an informant that the cartel, they want to kill Hank. Oh, God. Why is this tor turning into a horror episode? What was that episode? No. Okay. That is by far probably one of my most favorite episodes ever because it has got so fucking intense. I knew. I knew something was going to happen to where they were going to need that fucking money and they wouldn't be able to use it because Skylar gave it to Ted. Like, I'm sorry. Fuck Ted. She shouldn't have gave him the money. And like, yeah, maybe her plan didn't, did sound like reasonable, but it's like, what do you do now? Walt doesn't have the money, I don't think. He doesn't have enough money to get them the new IDs and everything that they need to leave. And then now Marie, you know, was calling Skyler because they found out people from the cartel were coming, you know, kill Hank. So it's like, what do you do? I already know this next episode is gonna be probably just as or maybe more intense than this one and it's like just these last like few minutes of the episode like I loved Walt looked so fucking creepy going from like a mental breakdown to fucking creepy as fuck like laughing weird like mm, he fucking lost it it just keeps me thinking like what's gonna fucking happen like Jesse's okay he doesn't have to do anything, but look at Walt. Walt and his family are screwed. The fact that Gus even said that he would kill the baby, it's like seeing both sides of Gus, it's like he seems like such a sweet man. But then on the flip side, if you're on his like bad side, you're fucked. And it is just wild to me. Oh my God. I already want to just start the next episode. Wait, how many episodes left do we have? I think it's only two. We just watched episode 11. I think they have 13 this season. I thought the next episode would have been the last one of the season, but I guess not. Okay. I'm just like trying to like think what could they possibly do to like help their situation Sky Skyler fucking ruined the situation by giving Ted the money and it's like actually what happened to Ted like I'm kind of confused like yeah we saw him trip fall and shit whenever Saul was talking to the two dudes about Ted I couldn't tell if they were actually saying that either he's in the hospital or he's dead and then if you think about it it's like what's the point of him sending the money to the IRS or whatever if he's dead like maybe they should have did that sooner not that like they killed him but like I don't know this whole thing is just <laughs> racking my brain bro I loved this episode it was wild but I guess we will see what happens in the next episode so I guess come back for episode 12. <laughs>